Hi, this is Mark from Productive Computing, and in this video we're going to talk about a new feature in FileMaker 17 known as Group Object Selection. Join me now. Okay, first to work with grouped objects, I thought we would go the extra mile and compare 16 alongside of FileMaker 17. Now with FileMaker 17 here on, on the right side, I'm actually sharing a file called test, and this file is actually being shared as we speak. So FileMaker 17 is acting as a host. FileMaker 16 here on my left has opened that test file here. You can see Mark's iMac work, so it's piggybacking off this. So to give you an idea of what I mean here, if I create a button over here on FileMaker 17, call it test, and then I save that layout, control S or command S on the Mac, you'll see that my test button shows up here on the left. So these files are connected. And that's important because I'm going to show you the behavior differences side by side. So let's remove that button and save that layout. All right, so let's begin. First, let's take a typical scenario where you might have some fields on a layout like so. None of these are grouped at this very moment, that's fine. Now, a developer may come along and group a bunch of fields together like this. They would select all the fields, and then they can choose to group or ungroup using the icons over here on the inspector. They can also go up under the Arrange menu and group and ungroup that way. Or they can do it with a shortcut key, which is the way I prefer, which is Command-R on the Mac and Control-R on Windows. So now these are grouped. Okay, so that is one single grouping of three objects. Fine. Let's go to browse mode on FileMaker 17 and go back to FileMaker 16 and see how this group behaves. Now with this group, I can double click a particular field and that does bring up the specify field dialog box, company and first, like that. So there is a lot of power. Even though this is grouped, I can still change a field and select it by double clicking within that group. So you might say, well, why do we need a new feature if I've already got that happening for me? Well, stay tuned and you'll find out. Now, can I move these fields if they're grouped? No, I cannot. I have to ungroup, which is Command-Shift-R, then move the field over like this, then regroup them. So that's extra movement there. You might say, well, that's, that's not a big deal. I've been doing that for years. Well, it gets a little bit more tricky the further you go. Okay, let me regroup these in FileMaker 16, and then go back to FileMaker 17 and have a closer look. What if I double-click the last name here Yes, I still get the specify field dialog box, just like we did in the previous version. So if you look closely here, I have a dashed line representing the entire group, but I also have my field last highlighted and editable or movable in this case. So I can just left click and drag that out and notice how the dotted line expands to show me the new group overall dimensions. Okay, that's very interesting and very handy. So besides moving an object, I can also resize an object, or I can select multiple objects, such as first and company, and move those independent of last. In either case, the dashed line will expand to show you the entire group surroundings. So let me undo that, save the layout again, and this time, let's take this a step further. What if I had another group, so I've got two groups, a left group and a right group, and what if I group the groups? So let's do that. So now I've got a single group here, but is it really a single group, or do I actually have two groups that are grouped into a single group? I actually have two groups grouped into a single group, and you'll know that because you can click on your Objects window and show all, and you'll see, oh, I have a group. Well, if you expand that, you'll see that I actually have three groups, and these are the elements within those groups. First, can I double-click last name like I did before? Yes. Okay, what if I single-click? I get the whole group. Okay, great. Double-click, I get the field and the current table. In this case, because it's a field, what if it's a label? Then I can actually edit the label. So that's powerful. So I can change my field, I can edit my label. So let's say I wanted to select last name only. You can click once to select the entire group. Click again to select the subgroup within that. In this case, it's the edit boxes and then a third click to click the last name. Then you can move just the last name, even though that's embedded a couple of layers deep. So how far can this go? Let's group some other items. Let's take some buttons, for example. I'm running this at three times speed to save you guys some time. Let's group button one and two. 
Then I'll group all three buttons. So there's two subgroups there. And let's grab this group and add it to that group. So now we've got several groups going on here. And you know that by looking at the objects area. Okay. So if I want to select button two, I can just double click and I'll get button two and I can redefine that, which is terrific. Here's a pro tip for you. You may want to take full advantage of this new objects panel and select the button within that. In other words, type in button and grab button two, for example, and then move it that way because it's easier, I think, to select it using the objects panel in some cases, especially when it's multiple layers going on here. You can see just clicking on it is pretty darn easy. I hope you enjoyed this video. For more content like this, consider subscribing to our YouTube channel, liking our Facebook page, or following us on Twitter and LinkedIn. We also have a monthly newsletter describing the latest happenings here from Productive Computing, as well as other industry-related news. Thanks for watching.